Hello and welcome back again my friend to Bitcoin price prediction or Bitcoin forecast or BTC price prediction this is Thomas with you again we came back in another video so as every time if you are a long term trader stick with us all here in the daily if you are a swing trader go to the 4 hours and if you are a scalper and day trader go to 30 minutes and you go to fan timeline on the description of that video so go choose depending on your trading style and the timeline it will sort your trading style so let's start that will listen off today by the way before we even start you yes you watching me now are you not a subscriber why my friend make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the bell notification on to receive all our latest updates and videos it's not something hard just a red button down click at that next to it a bell turn it on so like that when you put in a new video you're going to be notified or you can even join us in telegram and discord where we're giving signals there the link of our telegram and discord is it down in the description of that video because in telegram and discord going to be notified more quicker than here in youtube you done it welcome to the family oh so guys as you see today that the daily candle is finished after uh, jerome powell he came he talked in that forum he tried to push down the bitcoin but uh bitcoin it stays stable here and that level still holding here but let me to summarize what he said he said they are going to increase more interest rate but there is rumors is coming from inside the wall street this said Jerome Powell next month is going to be a little bit dovish not hawkish but let me explain those terms dovish that man is going to reduce a little bit of quantity of easing and tightening because tell now the Fed is still tighten more so that what it came and that the rumors it came in that's very good because it will not be forever that increasing interest rate it will come the deadline for it one day we're going to see the interest rate is falling and that one is going to be the major move but for bitcoin also we have in the halving cycle is it very close it doesn't lift for it a lot it's only three months so that why us all of us we are in a very 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 nice level and that's what me i tell people they are in my telegram and my discord i told them me those days i'm just accumulating bitcoin i just buying 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 and i store it even you do the same thing because the big wells even them they doing the same thing those days if if you heard someone he bought three billion US dollar of Bitcoin, even you do the same thing. That's for long term. But here for the chart, also we buy from here, I buy from here, I buy from here. Now I got a pending order here at that level here, and I don't, don't think so. It's going to touch it. Maybe in Monday you're going to see a drop or something. But me personally, I think there is a move is coming those days. So tell now everything still looking the same. Here technical analysis, I show you that one yesterday i told you we got here a inside bar as you see it tell now we couldn't break it above and we couldn't break it down here so everything still looking the same nothing was changed another thing here we got here that flag i show it to you in four hours and even here and the most important thing is that level here or that supply and demand zone here tell now the bitcoin is showing here a major 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 support here he couldn't break it and that the level also we need to look in at it because if we couldn't break it and we go back up that meant that the start of the bull run so tell now here how we going to enter long for the people the waiting to enter based on technical analysis unless if it came and breaking here that trend line here you can enter for long term but you're going to miss the entry from down here so my advice just they say those days by slowly by slowly once a month once a week you just buying slowly by slowly that's my advice to you another thing will make me to be confident like that let me show it to you is it that one here that indicator of us as you see it that one historical i don't want to go back to the past every time when it touching here me personally i'm give you my investment strategy when that one here touching i started buying as a way of they say when always it touch here a buying it's not every time when it touching here it reverse sometimes it touch it go up a little bit then it drop again then it enter again to the oversold area then i started buying by the way that one it's not normal rsi 
you need to remember that that not the normal RSI that is a RSI but not normal it's got a special setting so everything is too clear guys here and those ones here that the last Friday you remember people they've been with us for the options we doing the two levels together putting the first level here at 30k and the lower level at 23k and as you see the Bitcoin is closed below both of them now it is going to find for that week where is going to close the Bitcoin where is that two levels for the call on the pods is going to that page to do it together here we are that the page web where all we find in those things now let's try to find those levels together here as you see that inside the money here now let's find them for the pods first then we find them for the calls as you see guys i find the first level here as you see it at 24k the pods here is 189 bitcoin by the way that one is just in one platform there a bit as you see it 189 bitcoin that the level here that the first level at 24 4k now we're finding for the calls for pictures get more clear to you for the calls guys as you see it we find the level here at 29500 the calls here is 129 bitcoin here that the levels now it's going back to the chart to join that two levels we said the for the pots 24k here for the calls 29500 now it's going to the chart to join the two levels together we set the first level here 29500 like that as you see it the down level we said at 24k like that as you see it that's when the bitcoin is going to stay another sideways week here or maybe we're going to go back up because as you see those ones here they make that level more closer compared to that level here so maybe the bitcoin it will go back up a little bit to touch that 200 moving average because the 200 moving average is it here so those ones the levels you put them in your chart and you're waiting where is the bitcoin is going to go either up or either down because those ones here if the bitcoin fall down here here they are ready to buy at that price and it's going to be very cheaper for them to buy 24k because tell no people they believe in that level here it will hold the bitcoin and that all the people they're talking about that level here so let's hope in it's going to hold not to break it down so everything is too clear guys here now let's going to see TXY or US dollar what it's doing today for pictures to get more clear to you to know exactly where is the bitcoin is going here we are that the DXY or US dollar guys here in the daily as you see that one here I tell you in yesterday video also we are here in that very very stronger supply and demand zone and the market is showing us here an indecision candle that's my no power to break that level here but the bad news here is it that one here as you see it I show it to you I think before we got here a cup and handle and that cup and handle is getting broke here it break the neckline here by that candle here that man is going to go more higher that bad news here let me tell it to you but now you you need to focus it about that level here because if we break in that level here that's when us dollar it will continue it upward and bitcoin it will continue it downward so here for us dollar it's showing to us maybe it's going to reverse yes we're going to see in smaller time frames a small correction is going to happen in monday or something but here in the daily it's showing to us also we're still in an up trend there is nothing new here so we don't need to make the video too long here in us dollar us dollar is very clear you need to focus on that level here that one here if you're going to break it or no yeah now it's showing here that candle here is giving us here an indecision candle let's wait and see what's going to happen in monday because uh us dollar is closing on saturday and sunday till monday so let's wait and guys now let's going to see what the bitcoin doing today in the four hours so it's going there guys here we are in the four hours guys over here is only four swing trading yes you are right my friend here i left those moving averages like that for pictures to get more clear to you look at that i tell it to you in the first people they've been with me they, we enter along from here to here now here look at that what the bitcoin is showing to us it's still respecting here that 50 moving average and we are not going to go up all less if a candle came like that and closing above that 50 moving average i'm talking here about four hour candle it's need a four hour candle to come like that and to break in here if it's breaking here that's when the bitcoin it will go to touch the 100 moving average here which is it's going to be here in the top of that candle here that for moving averages but for price action what me i told you before i told you 
We got here a very, very, very clear flag here or a distribution level or name it whatever you want. Names doesn't matter, guys. The most important to know how to trade them. Yes, we got here a head and shoulder here, very small a head and shoulder here. But me, I don't follow those things. Me, I follow that one here. It's need to break here or to break down here because us, we are in a very, very, very stronger level and all our indicators, they are at the oversold area and daily in four hours. So me, I'm waiting the price to give me confirmation to inch along tell no i'm still waiting the break to happen here if it happened here that's man is going to break even that 50 moving average then i'm going to go with it till the top and here people they be with me they know how us we're taking profit when it's breaking a channel like that we're doing just like that we bring here a vertical line like that and it's going to be the take profit of us here in that place here so we don't need to make the video too long guys here everything is very clear here now it's going to see our indicator what it's saying so it's going there that one here, same thing guys. You remember what me I told you about that one here, about that uptrend here. I told you it's going to touch it here. And that's what's happening here, as you see it. The market is showing to us that sideways here, till it will touch it here. Then after that, maybe we're going to see another going up. But till now, as we still wait in the market to break here, that level here. If it's breaking here, guys, if we break in here, enter long. Remember that if we break in here, me, I'm talking here about swing traders. If we break in here, enter long guys because the bitcoin it will shift all part again everything is too clear now it's going to see our other indicator what it's saying that one here same thing also we stay in here at the oversold area price action i'll show it to you we got here that flag here or that channel the flag is like that as you see it or that channel here because the flag is a continuation pattern that means it's going to drop more but it's need to break here if it's breaking here we're going to enter short i tell it to you because we need to put two scenarios guys you need to be focused with me here the first scenario if it's breaking above here we're going to enter long if it's breaking down here we're going to enter short us we don't care because that level here yeah just show you the dx why if the dx why break that level where we are the bitcoin is going to fall down so if it's breaking down here we're going to enter short that said that the only thing i can tell you and also in daily below in the 200 moving average so tell now everything is showing us us we're still in a downtrend but us we're still hoping it will change from that downtrend to our up uptrend so everything is too clear now it's going to 30 minutes to see what bitcoin win today in 30 minutes for scalping and day trading so it's going there here we are in 30 minutes over here is only for scalping and day trading over here yesterday me entered along here from that level here because of that triple bottom it went up a little bit then it fell down after the news it came it hitting for me the stop lose not a part of the game so now what we got here at that level here because today majority of you didn't know that today saturday market is going to be flat so me i'm not trading the saturday and sunday but here if you you want to trade you can do something like that let me show you like that you came here you doing that one here and that one here if it's breaking above here that trend line you can enter long again because me i'm thinking the bitcoin it will go up till it will touch in where it fell down before which is here so tell now the bitcoin it's showing is going to continue it upward for you to confirm the entry of you it's need that one to break that trend line here you see me how i draw it or not that one and that one that's how you need to do the trend line or you can make it even like that like that is going to be a very 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 clear triangle here if it's breaking above here you can enter long if it's breaking down here you can enter short guys let's see our indicator what it's saying our indicator guys i want to show you something very 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 important in that indicator here let me zoom it a little bit like that if you came here and you connect in that one and that one that peak that one and the one what you got over here it's going up let's see it in the chart what it telling us in the chart what it telling us guys because that one here is the same peak in the chart it falling down so you got a very 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 clear divergence here if you do it like that as you see and that one here here by the way the one that low here is it the low of that level here that's my more divergence here that's why me i told you as you see it, that my analysis me that the chart of me but me i told you if it's breaking above here that level here enter long guys remember my word even if it happened today or tomorrow if it's breaking here enter long guys everything is too clear so that's it for that video and please guys make sure to support us by just smashing the like button writing down a comment and if you could even share the video you done it thank you very 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 much my friends see you in another video guys bye for now